Welcome to Alter Your Plane. I guess I have to say the first reason why I uh, chose to do an alternate controller project for guitar was because I wanted control and I wanted more of that control. I wanted to be able to uh, access parameters through Ableton from the back of the neck, you know, and be able to do that in real time without having to stop and use some sort of external MIDI controller or stop and use some sort of expression pedal. The second reason why I chose this project was mainly because of uh, performance. Uh, it originally came up in conversation with a friend of mine. We wanted to know if we could control Ableton from our guitar, you know, somehow. And I was thinking, well, there's space on the back of the neck for some sort of switch or some sort of uh, parameter, you know. So even as smallest as just operating a bypass switch in Ableton, that would that would make me happy, you know. But then it started to turn into, what if I could do this with it? What if I could control this parameter with this? What if I can control this parameter with this? So that's where it kind of went, and it kind of snowballed from there. I guess the third and final reason why I wanted to do this project was the software part of it. Um, I wanted to create effects, my own effects, that no one has really done before. So I started uh, exploring the idea of what would you control from um, the back of a guitar neck? What would you control from a proximity sensor placed on the guitar while, and while you're playing in mid-play? You can swipe over it, maybe like a D-beam, you know, and, and control something or, or have it do something. Some sort of gesture that is natural for a guitarist. Um, and that would ultimately lead to, you know, a new sound, new realm of creativity that no one has ever really, you know, kind of explored. Here's a guitar that I used for this project. As you can see, it has a touch strip attached to the back of the neck, and there's a wire that is soldered onto this. It has a three-prong plug that uh, it plugs directly into the iCubeX digitizer. That is the digitizer right there. The digitizer, uh, the beauty of this is that it translates all of the information that gets sent into it into this program and you can uh, basically send MIDI messages from that program into any anything that receives MIDI on your laptop, any program and whatnot. Uh, this is perfect for prototyping my device. That's a sensor that I used for the synth, the gated synth video. And as I was saying, it, it really prototyped everything beautifully and the next step will be Arduino.